Hey guys, it's Delicia. Thanks for tuning in to the Cigar Vixen channel. Today, I'm very excited to be unveiling a new toy that I just received, this time from New Air. It's a 250 count thermoelectric cigar humidor. I'm gonna go ahead and do an unboxing of the humidor here so you guys can see exactly how it comes. Um, I did mention to you guys I would be adding some different humidor reviews because I know that that is a question that I get asked very often. And so I want to do the full start to finish so you guys can see everything. So it's packaged really securely, which is good. All the foam to ensure that it's not damaged. That would be a bummer. And now, I'm gonna see how, okay. there we go, look at that. Oh, look at that baby, that is beautiful. All right, so let's take a closer look at this beautiful new air, again, a 250 count thermoelectric cigar humidor. This is the first one like this that I've ever had. I've always had a more traditional type of humidor, so I'm very excited to use this and again to talk to you guys about it. It looks like there's a lot of really cool features on here, um, including a digital thermostat. And it says that it keeps it cool as low as 52 degrees. It also has a heater so you can keep your cigars properly or well, at the proper temperature because that's a big factor. Um, I've noticed that um, even though I am in Southern California, my house where I keep mm, the majority of my cigars will fluctuate in temperature. Um, big big fluctuation so during the winter months and the colder months it gets pretty pretty chilly so it's nice to have that heater as a feature so again you have that nice seal you can see that just like a refrigerator you get that nice little seal in here again stainless steel on the outside and then this digital reading it looks like there's a light as well here so similar to a refrigerator style you have these different shelf spaces that you can looks like you can remove these these are all cedar mm, has that beautiful cedar smell and then this is an actual drawer that comes with this little clear case here so that you can fill it with water and we'll get into how we season this in a moment nice digital readout of the relative humidity in there and you can see the nice fan in, in the background there. So three different shelves. You can fit a box, a couple different boxes. If you want to store your cigars um, individual, you could do that as well. You could probably even add your own little trays if you wanted to. And then one of the things that I really liked about this is that you have your own little keys so you can actually keep it locked. So if you use this in your office or even at home and maybe you have um, people that like to get into your cigar stash, <laughs> you can actually keep it locked, which is pretty cool. I like that. That's a nice little feature, um, but very nice. So I went ahead and plugged this in and you can see the nice display here. Now that it's plugged in to a power source, you can adjust the temperature. So I set it at 70 just for fun, but you can go up and down with it all the way down to, I think it's 52 just for, yeah, 52 or you can go up to 74. Okay. So a nice little range on the temperature there. I'm going to keep mine at 70 and then, um, oh, it also has the Fahrenheit or Celsius depending on what you prefer. And then this nice little thing, I love this light. Look at that. So you can put your light on and you can see your beautiful little cigars in there. So I'll leave that on for a moment. And even just having it plugged in for just, I think maybe five minutes or so now, that beautiful Spanish cedar smell is just, it's coming out, it's so nice. Um, and I, I was a little concerned about that because the inside of it, again, this is my first time using any kind of electric um, humidor. I've always done the traditional wood type of humidor. So this is different for me and it's really cool. But yeah, the inside of it up here is, is plastic, 
But then again, you have the nice Spanish cedar, um, two shelves and then a drawer. So I got onto their website and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do the, uh, the Boveda seasoning packs or just kind of like the old school way of wiping it down. And I figured since um, one of the other humidor reviews that I've done recently, I just used the Boveda packs. I figured I'd try it the other way for those of you who like the old school technique. Um, I did call them because on their website, it shows both as a possibility. This one's being a newer model. I called over the phone and their customer service line, they picked up right away. And I did ask um, one of the representatives, you know, what is there one that's a recommended method if they prefer or recommend that you use the Boveda seasoning packs to get things started or the traditional way. And the guy on the phone told me um, to actually go ahead and wipe it down. But I don't know that he really understood if I was that I was asking him, you know, which of the two is recommended for this particular type. Um, however, I'm going to go ahead and just use the distilled water. I'm going to use a clean rag wipe things down and I'm actually going to use their little reservoir here and fill it with distilled water and put it inside and close it and I'm just going to monitor take this off here this is the the digital hygrometer which is a nice upgrade I believe their older models had an analog um, hygrometer so um, I prefer the digital it's just easier to read it keep track of it um, I actually like the look of the analog better, but I just, for the sake, the ease of, of using it, it's nice to have just the digital readout. Um, again, for just the ease of, of reading it really quick. You can also add like the Boveda Butlers. They actually have it on their website on newyard.com. So you can order the Boveda Butler. I like to see that they're using Boveda products. That was one of the things that drew me to this brand, um, you know, Nice to see that because I use Boveda myself. So I am gonna go ahead and fill, or rather wipe this down. Clean rag, I have distilled water that I use. And I'm always hesitant to do this just because I don't wanna ever risk like warping the wood. And because this is, this is keeping it a little cooler, um, I just I was a little hesitant, but uh, I'm just gonna do it this way. So this is easy because these slide out. So to wipe them down, you can just do this. The unit itself actually comes with a warranty of, I believe it's one year. And then they do have the customer service line, which I was nice to, I, I actually just called them just to see, you know, how it is to, to make those calls. If it's an easy thing to get somebody on the phone or if you sit on hold forever. And it was actually really easy to, I mean, they picked up within the first couple minutes of my call and um, they're very friendly. And so that was nice. Put that back in there. And so this one, again, it's a drawer, but it's it's like a tray too. So it just has the little pull out here. I'm trying to take the sticker off. But the, the beautiful cedar aroma is really, really nice. It's strong on this one and it's really nice. So again, I'm just wiping this down. It's been a while since I've done this way. I'm so used to using those Boveda seasoning packs. It's nice. This is like, it seems like so much more work, uh, but it's faster. You can start using it sooner. So I will definitely monitor this and um, you know, see how long it takes to for it to reach the proper humidity level. And again, if you're doing this along with me or you're doing this with your own humidor, you never want to oversaturate the wood. You definitely don't want to pour water uh, on it. I always use a conservative amount just because again, you don't want to warp the wood at all. I'm just gently wiping this down. And again, make sure you're using a clean rag or sponge. I know a lot of people use the sponge. I actually like the rag. I have a brand new, clean rag that I'm using. So the only thing I will say is it doesn't have a marker or anything on it to recommend how much water to start with. So I'm just going to fill it maybe, I don't know, I guess a little less than halfway. Again, distilled water. I think you guys know that by now, but just in case you're new, don't ever use tap water. Um, I'm going to put it in here just because that's where they had it, right in the middle. And I'm going to 
close it. And then I'm gonna shut it here and I'm gonna put this back on 70. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the light so I don't forget. But um, yeah, so this is again a beautiful unit. I, I just, I'm a fan. I haven't used one before. I've heard so many good things about these and I'm, I'm just excited to see how it works, you know, when I, once I get the cigars put in there, that's always the exciting part. So I'm going to check back in with you guys. I'm going to do, um, I'm basically going to check in every day until it's at its proper humidity level and temperature, just to kind of show you guys, if you, um, are in the market for a new humidor, I wanted to show you guys, cause I promised you I would, um, this particular unit is a newer one, as I mentioned. So this one is going to run right around 399 on their website. And I do believe that there's some different, uh, discounts. If you get onto their website, when I popped on, when I jumped onto their website, I saw a little pop-up for $50 off. Um, I haven't tried to use that towards it, so I'm not sure, but it looked like you could. Also, it's free shipping. And then, as I mentioned, it comes with a one year warranty on it and then the nice customer service, which is cool. Um, so you saw how it was packaged. It was really nicely packaged. Um, no, no damages on it. I also forgot to mention that they're on the bottom here. There's little legs that you can adjust um, the just to make sure my, mine was fine. I mean, it's totally stable and everything, so I didn't mess with it, but it does have that option, too. And I will provide a link in the body below so you guys can link right onto their website and check out um, this particular one, which again, um, it's great. I like the fact that it not only cools it, but it has the heating option, which is cool because again, depending on where you're at and the temperature climate that you keep, uh, you definitely want to want to not only make sure that your humidity is good, but the temperature, which is one of the things and I haven't brought this up before, but it is one of the things that I have to worry about in my own home. Um, as I mentioned, I, I do live in Southern California. However, sometimes it's really hot. Now I run my AC all the time, but there's also times when it's really cold. And so when it's too cold, that can also damage the cigar. So keeping them at that ample, not just the, the RH level, but the actual temperature is key. And so I'm really, again, excited to use this particular humidor and, um, it, for holding 250 cigars, it still seems fairly small. So that's that's a nice feature as well. It's not gonna take up too, too much space. I do have my really large humidor that you guys have seen. Um, but again, that one, I, I do have to watch it a lot. There's times when I have to take cigars out of there or just really monitor the temperature. Sometimes I have to move it into different parts of my home to monitor the temperature. So again, this one is great because you can you know, adjust that temperature and make sure that your cigars are properly, again, stored and humidified and temperature controlled. Okay, so I will check back in as um, I watch things and just check out what the levels are at and keep you guys informed. Hey guys, so coming to a close now, um, it's been about a week or so. I wanted to do a check-in. I started the video when I first unboxed this lovely new humidor from New Air, and I have to say, spoiler alert, I love it. It's so fun to use. It's really been easy. I wanna try and open this, even though it's an awkward angle, so you can see. Uh, the temperature is 70, and the humidity is at 70 as well. Um, as I mentioned, it's been about a week or so. I just added my cigars uh, last night, and I've let it sit in there. I did add some Boveda pack. Um, I did put these in here at the 69%. I have four of them and I'm definitely not at full capacity on the humidor. I just wanted to start. I have two full boxes and then I have a couple bundles of, and some loose cigars in there. Just wanted to see how they set um, overnight, you know, with the temperature and everything. And it's again, perfect. Um, all I had to do for the seasoning was to fill the water tray that they, that it came with and I let it sit overnight. And within one day, the relative humidity was um, was high. It was about 80, 80%. So what I did is I opened the door. Um, I gave them a call. I will say I have called New Air twice and their customer service is excellent. And I just wanted to call them to see what their recommended method was as far as do they recommend that you season with the Boveda packs or the old traditional way. I of course chose the traditional way for this one. However, I am um, now that it's completely seasoned, I have um, added my cigars and I have added the Boveda packs in there 
um, as my form of humidification and it's working very well and I, um, I love it. As I mentioned, it's really easy to use. Um, it takes a, um, about, it took me about a week or so to just get everything. I was kind of playing with, you know, taking out the water dish. Then I added the Boveda Pack set. Once I got it at the uh, relative humidity that I wanted, um, I added the Boveda Packs and I just closed it. And then I added these cigars. And then of course it's been close to 24 hours of having the cigars in there, just setting and everything is good. The temperature has been spot on the entire time since I plugged it in. And then of course that relative humidity now that it's been, um, properly seasoned it's um, it's just working wonderfully so definitely recommend that you give them a try if you're in the market for a very easy um, humidor system one that can cool and even heat on its own depending on the climate it's really wonderful um, i will provide the links below to their website so that you can check it out yourself and they have some really cool perks if you jump on there um, so definitely make sure that you use those links and I'd love to hear the feedback. I know a lot of you are always in the market for new humidor systems. Um, I have done some different reviews on different products and this one is um, proving to be really worth the money and really easy to use. So again, highly recommended and I'd love to hear your feedback. I know quite a few you have a version of this, um, the new air um, humidor, and I'd love to hear your feedback on it as well as if you plan on getting one, um, all the, everything that you could think of to post the comments on, I love to read through those. So thanks so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.